Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to model a strawberry in Cinema 4D. Remember to like and subscribe if you like my content and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. So first we want to grab a sphere, change the radius to 4 centimeters, and change the segments to 32. Let's zoom in. Change the type to icosahedron. Cool. And then we want to grab a taper deformer. Put that underneath the sphere. Go to the chord tab and just rotate it 180 degrees. Go back to the object tab and go fit to parent. And then change the strength to 60 and the curvature to zero. Nice, so we have a basic strawberry shape. Now let's grab a FFD deformer. We just want to flatten out the top a little bit. So put it underneath the taper deformer, go fit the parent, change the grid, grid points to 5x5x5, five by five by five. and then select the top middle point here and just move that down a little bit. Cool. Now we want to grab a displacer, put that underneath the FFD, go to the shading tab and add a noise. Open that up and change the global scale to 25%. Now let's go back out and go to the object tab and change the height to 0 0.25. Cool, we have a nice basic strawberry shape there. So let's uh, put this in a subdivision surface like so and just increase that to 3. So it's very high poly. And then let's group that. So grab a now, put that inside there. And let's call this our strawberry save. And then save. So this is going to be our basic shape that we can refer back to if we want to change anything. So I'm just going to keep this here and duplicate it like so. And I'm just going to change that back to strawberry. Nice. So let's just turn off the visibility of these deformers so they don't confuse us. And then just right click on the sphere here and go current state to object. So we're doing this because we want to be able to use these points um, as our selection for our seeds when we clone them onto the surface. So let's just select all these points and go select, set selection. Cool. And now if you enable the subdivision surface and go and just delete the sphere first actually and just go current state to object and then delete that now. Now you have the selection tag here with all the points that we need which is really nice. Cool, so let's just hide that for now and let's create our seeds. So let's grab a sphere and then we just wanna change the radius to 0 0.13 and the segments down to 18. Cool, let's zoom right in. Now under the coordinates tab, let's change the X scale to 0 0.5, leave Y at 1, and then change the Z scale to 0 0.25. So we've got a nice little flat seed. Cool, but we also want it to taper a little bit, so let's grab a taper deformer, put that underneath our sphere, and before we do anything, rotate it 180 degrees. And then under the object tab, change the strength to 50. So that should, ah, oh, we need to fit to parent first. Cool, that looks like a seed. Nice. Now let's just put that inside a now, because we're gonna be cloning this and the cloner will reset these scales if we don't put it in now. So let's call that seed. 
and let's grab a cloner put the seed inside the cloner and then enable our strawberry again cool so before we um, start using this cloner let's just disable it now so it doesn't crash anything so select the cloner go to the object tab and put the subdivision surface sorry change the mode to object and then put the subdivision surface in here and then put the selection here and change the distribution to vertex and the up vector to plus y now that that's set up if you enable the cloner we have a bunch of little seeds which is nice um, let's just disable that or disable the visibility of the taper so we don't see that and then um, on the cloner I'm just going to go to the transform tab and scale up our seeds a tiny bit cool that looks good remember to save Actually, I just want to add some variation into the seed. So with the cloner selected, add a random effector. And then under the parameters tab, just disable position and enable scale, uniform scale, and go 0 0.1. And then under rotation, go 5, 5, 15. Nice, that looks good. And let's just grab a null and put our random and our clone in there and call the null seeds nice so now I just want to indent the surface of our strawberry using the seeds but first I just want to remove some of the seeds from the top and one from the bottom just so it's a little more realistic so let's just disable our seeds for now and double click on our selection tag here go to live selection and select these top middle points here like so cool and then deselect this bottom one nice so let's just click off our object and select it again so it deselects this tag and then go to the select tab and go set selection so now we just keep our original selection if we need it for later and then yeah so now we have this new one and rename that to point selection 2 now let's enable our seeds again select that cloner and put our new selection here cool that works and save again so now we want to grab a collision deformer and put that underneath our strawberry surface here and under the colliders tab we just want to change the solver type to outside volume and then under the advanced tab just change the size to zero cool now let's select our cloner and we actually want to translate our seed slightly into the surface of the strawberry so let's go on the z-axis minus 0.075 so that should be just below the surface cool now what we want to do is right click our cloner and go current state to object and I'm doing this because the collision deformer sometimes freaks out if you use a cloner as a collider so let's change the name of this to cloner collide cool let's select our collision deformer go to the colliders tab and then put our collider in here and after a little bit of waiting you should see something pretty cool and voila that looks awesome now I just want to bake this into geometry so let's right click our object here and go current state to object and then I'm just gonna disable the collision deformer here and turn that off just so it's a little bit more um, lighter on our machine cool now remember to save so now we want to start working on the stem so let's grab a mouse spline 
a sweep and an inside. Let's put the inside and most spine inside the sweep and change the angle P to 90 degrees. Cool, let's change the length to two, the steps to 25, and the width to 0.25. And select the sweep and just move that up. So it's in line with the top of our strawberry. Like so. Cool, let's just increase the subdivisions on our inside. Select our most spline and then change the curve value to 28, the bend to minus 28, and the twist to 90. Cool, now let's just edit the width spline here. So let's select both points, right click and go soft. Just bring the right one down a little bit. Maybe put one in the middle, just to control it further. And that looks pretty cool. Nice. Now next, what we want to do is start working on the leaves. So I'm just going to hide everything for now. Like so. And let's grab a mouse spline, a sweep, and an inside. Put both those inside the sweep. And then under the simple tab on our mouse spine, let's change the length to 2.5. And our steps to 25. And this is going to be like the spine of our leaf. So let's change the width to 0.025. Cool. And then let's just edit the um, width of our spine here and change the point type to soft and just move the right point down a little bit to something like that. Cool. Now I'm just going to play with the curve a little bit. So let's go 15 on the curve, maybe like 60 on the bend. And then let's just expand our bend here. And I'm just going to move that down to something like this, just so that it curls up at the end. Cool. Now let's select our most spline go to the MoGraph tab and go Mo Instance. And so we're going to use this instance to drive the rest of our leaf so that it maintains the same shape. So let's grab another sweep and then let's grab one of these. I'm not going to, I'm not sure what that's called, <laughs> so I'm not going to try to say it. So put both of them inside the sweep like so. And we get this crazy looking thing. So I select the sweep and just disable banking. And then on our object here, let's just change the width to one centimeter and the tension to 1.5. And then on the coordinates tab, let's just change the scale on the Y axis to 0 0.25. So if you zoom in, you should get this nice looking leaf shape here. Cool. Now what we want to do is just control the shape of our leaf by selecting the sweep. Go to the object tab and under details, select both these points, right click and go soft. Cool. I'm just going to move it down on the right like so and on the left like so. So now we have a pretty cool looking leaf shape. And I'm just going to move it in a little bit on the left here, just so that we have a little bit of stem on the end. Cool. I quite like that. And you can just shape it to however you like it. Awesome. Now I'm just going to create a second leaf, I think, but I'm just going to 
group both these sweeps first and call that leaf a1 and actually on our second sweep here I'm just gonna change the end rotation just so that we've got like a little curve in our leaf so I'm gonna go with something like that cool now select that copy and paste and then you just change a few of the settings so that you have another leaf so I'm just going to change the length of our mouse spline to 2 and then just change the the curve and the bend a little bit cool that should be good enough now we have two leaves I'm just going to rename the second one so now I'm just going to start cloning these leaves onto our stem so let's grab a cloner put both our leaves inside the cloner and I'm just going to turn off our mouse spline so that we can't see them and then let's turn on our stem, our strawberry and our seeds and I'm just going to rename the sweep to stem so that we don't get confused oh and I'm also going to turn off the mouse spline and our stem so that we can't see that Cool, now select our cloner, change the mode to object, and then put our stem's mouse spline in there. Like so. So you should have something like that. And then um, to fix the angle of our leaves, go to the transform tab and change the rotations to 180 and 90. Nice. Then go back to our object tab and change our start position to maybe 4.5 on our end to the same cool now I need to distribute our leaves around the stem so I'm going to use a step deformer here and I'm just going to go with a linear preset on the spine and then under the parameters tab I'm just going to disable stale, scale enable rotation and just go something like that, 315. Cool, that works. Now I just want to add some randomization into the uh, rotations of our leaves. So select the cloner, go to MoGraph, go effectors, and go random. Disable position, enable scale. I'm just going to add a little bit of scale, but not too much because we already have some pretty good variation and then under rotation I'm just going to go 5 by 5 by 5 cool and I also want to just displace the surface of our leaves a little bit so I'm just going to group everything put inside a null rename that null to stem and then I'm going to go grab a displacer and put that underneath our stem Cool, now go to the shading tab and go add a noise. And then change the global scale to 5. It looks pretty crazy, so let's just change the height to 0.1. Cool, and that almost works, but it's doing something weird to our geometry, so just change the direction to spherical. And we get a nice little just bit of randomization on our leaves. So I'm just going to turn off our lines so that we can see it better. And yeah, pretty happy with that. That looks pretty good. And that is how you model a strawberry. Awesome, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you'd like to know how I rendered the strawberry, feel free to download the project file that I added in the description. Also, please remember to like and subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.